Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I show you how to deflect incoming safety issues by utilizing self-service knowledge and search results. I've built a lot of features in a short amount of time on the safety application. The employees are really starting to use it. So much, in fact, that Luke Wilson, our safety manager, has asked me to find a way to add some self-service to the application. We've all done it at some point. Rather than calling tech support, we search the internet for possible help in the form of forums, videos, or published articles. I'm going to add a knowledge base article as an example of how employees can help themselves to potentially reduce the number of incoming safety issues. Normally, I would start by going into Studio, but some of these items are not found in Studio, so I'll be working from the standard UI. Now I'm going to create a knowledge base that contains topics specific to my safety application. I'll give it a simple title, assign Luke as the owner, and give it a description. Then save it. I only need to do this once to provide a repository or grouping for all of my future safety knowledge articles. Now I'll create a new knowledge base article to place in that new knowledge base. I simply fill out the knowledge record form with the knowledge base I just created, give it a short description, and include the information to let someone know how they can address the issue themselves. The safety department has received a few issues about loose carpet squares around the building. Facilities recognizes the issue and is budgeted to get new carpet next year, but until then, they're just taping down those loose edges to prevent people from tripping and possible injury. Once that's entered, I'll save it. I can publish it to make it available to the public. Now when someone goes to the knowledge application and does a search for carpet, they'll see my related information I just published. That was pretty quick and works well if the user goes to search first, but how about offer them suggestions while they're opening a safety issue? That's easy too. I create what's known as a search context. Like usual, I'll give it a name and a short description. I'll tell it only to search knowledge articles and save the record. Remember that record producer I built in episode 5? I'm going to tell it to use the input from the short description to search the knowledge base automatically and offer possible results. Here's the record producer I want to connect, and I tell it to watch for the short description field. Now I save it and test it. Here's our record producer to report a safety issue. And as I fill in the fields, when I get to short description and begin to type, the search context starts looking for potential knowledge base articles for me. And here's the article that can help the person. No issue reported. Again, a lot of functionality added with very little effort. You can learn more about knowledge bases and the contextual search from the product documentation pages listed here. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.